Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I want to show you how you can use the Orton Effect tool inside Luminaire to really help improve your portrait photos. So we'll be getting this photo here from this photo here. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, well I already have a photo here opened up. Uh, here it is of you know, Rosemary and everything. This is the photo that we're going to be editing. So first thing I'm going to do is actually go ahead and open up my workspace. I already have a lot of these uh, tools and stuff already uh, put on uh, what I want to use inside my workspace. If you want to learn how to customize your workspace, I'll put a link for that tutorial up in the cards. But that said, let's go ahead and start doing some retouching to this photo here. Now, I am going to bring up the highlights. And remember, the highlights for like the portraits and stuff really do affect the light that's directly on your face. Shadows can affect, you know, more like the hair in the background, which I think can leave that on zero. And the whites, I normally like to split that like half of whatever the highlights is. So if I got like a 49 or 50 on the uh, highlights, I normally try to go like a 20, 25-ish. I can even dial it in. That 24 is close enough <laughs> on the whites and stuff. And that seems to balance out the light really good. For example, let's do a before and after already. We'll see the lighting changes I've done. I've already made the photo look, you know, a lot better than a flat photo. Okay. Now let's go on down here uh, and start doing some more retouching and stuff. I want to go down here and do uh, adjust the curves a little bit, add a little bit of contrast. And also I want to uh, clip, say at the bottom, 1% to 2% of the background. For example, if I clip up too much, start see it starts clipping all that. And I don't want to clip a whole lot, just enough about right there. Just barely clip it, just enough to kind of clip in the background. Like I said, that's like the, the bottom 1% to 2%. Unfortunately, uh, the curves tool here in Luminar doesn't show you the percentage on like Lightroom, but hopefully that's a feature that uh, you know, Skylum can add into Luminar later on. So I got that clipped, let's go ahead and uh, add a little contrast here by adjusting our curves. And I think that may be just where I want it. And I can see what that tool did, you know, before, after. And I think that's about where I want it. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Okay. Let's go on down here and actually go on down to our... Where is it? There's our Orton tool. All right, here we go. The Orton Effect tool it comes with like two types here, type one and type two. Each one of them does just a little bit different. There's type two, you know, there's type one, and you get to choose which one you want to use. I'm actually going to go to type one here. That might seem a little odd, but I'll demonstrate what I'm going to be doing here. Now for the type one here, uh, see if you go up real strong, and let's zoom in on the skin stuff here, is it gives a nice glow, kind of a separation. But we can see it adds way too much more contrast than what we really want here. So let's zoom out right here. So I'm going to uh, pull that back down quite a bit. And I'm going to put it, pull it up around 40. Yeah, I think about where I want it. But I'm going to drop the contrast on it here. And I can drop that. I want to pull it down to, say, somewhere close to zero. Maybe down just a little bit more. No, I think... About negative four on it. Just drop that in your contrast by negative four. Then if I need to, I can also brighten up the face and stuff some more here. We're pulling the brightness slider. I don't want to go too much. Let's see what it does with before and after on that Orton tool. There's without it. And there's with the Orton tool. Let me say the Orton effect makes your photos look a lot more dreamy and stuff. And it can also be used in other photos and stuff, not just portraits. Okay, so anyway, let's, I want to soften that up just a little bit more. Let's pull that up about 40 also. Make that skin look a little bit softer. Let's see, if we, without it and with it. And all I was doing so far, this is like a before and after. As you can see, just these few changes and stuff have really brought this photo out quite a bit. Now we got that done. Well, let's see here. Getting on about pretty good here. I think the only thing we need to do now is actually do some uh, retouching around the eyes and stuff. Because, you know, allergy season, eyes, you know, need to be adjusted a little bit here. Let me pull this around. 
Now to do this, we're actually going to pop on another layer and I'm going to go to a new uh, added adjustment layer. Pretty easy to use. Workspace again, I'm going to pull up my basic workspace. And the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the redness from the eyes stuff. And I don't have a preset brush for this just yet, so we're actually going to show you what I would normally do. For this, I'm going to exposure, I'm going to pull up, say, about 0.33, one st oh, and third stop. Then I'm going to pull the contrast down, about a negative 33 on it. Then the saturation, I'm going to uh, bottom it down to negative 100. And then we click on our brush here and go to brush. And we actually make the brush a little bit smaller here. Here we go, the size, drop the size on that. Around 50. Opacity, I want about, yeah, I'll move it about 50 on the opacity. Softness, I want about 75. And let's see if that's about the size I want now. And then I'm a little bit smaller on the size here. Yeah, 40 will work. And I can brush that on just those area. And what it does, it kind of mask everything out. So the only thing we're affecting is where I'm brushing on at the moment. And we can see, you know, before and after. And I think it works pretty good. If you get a little bit on the edge here, you can also erase it. Just click on the erase. And you can fine tune around the edge if you want to. In case you kind of spill over onto the skin too much. Okay. Don't get that one done. Now let's go ahead and let's actually brighten up uh, the iris and stuff a little bit. Let's go ahead and create another adjustment layer. And let's bring back my workspace. Now for this one, I know I'm going to bring up the saturation here. Pretty decent. It's so about a 20 or 30. It's anywhere in between. You have to kind of decide when you're actually doing the eyes yourself to see how you actually want them. And of course, I want to brighten them, those eyes up. So I want to bring those up about two stops, about 67. Or about two-thirds of a stop, excuse me. Then let's actually grab our brush tool here and go brush again and just kind of paint that on to the uh, iris here around the circle that way you don't get on the black spot of the eye and you can see that looks pretty decent it's kind of minor you can see before and after something you probably wouldn't notice but that's what you want to do everything wants to be subtle you don't want to overdo it and make it think uh somebody see that you actually did retouching they you should be able to uh, retouch the photo in a way that people look at it and don't really realize it but it still you know it completes the image makes it look natural that's the whole key and now let's go ahead and just darken in these eyebrows and the makeup a little bit here bring that out a little bit because anytime you use you know studio strobes or anything it really does make the uh, makeup really washed out so let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer and bring in my workspace here. Alrighty. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the clarity all the way up. And see if I can't just bring out just a little bit of the saturation. So I'm about right there. Okay, I think that is pretty close. Let me see. I can adjust that after I get it on there. Let's go ahead and brush it on. Here, brush tool, yes. Break the size a little bit bigger. There we go. Brush that on. Break the size a little bit smaller. those eyelashes to bring them out and like I said we can adjust it to however we want it to look as natural as possible we can even adjust the exposure if we need to I don't think I'm going to need to on this photo though let me see here you might want to bring out uh, see here what I want to bring out. The clarity is already pretty high. Bring out just a little bit of the highlight. See how I want it 
Yeah, about right there. And I think that looks very natural. Okay. So let's zoom. Let's get done here. And yeah, let's zoom fit the screen here. And to me, that looks really, really nice. So let's do a before and after. If you like this video, then you may also like a shampoo photo recovery. Photo recovery recovers deleted or corrupted image files. You can even recover your photos from damaged raw files or formatted disks. Learn more by clicking the link in the description below. And that's really it for this portrait retouching tutorial. It's really simple, really basic, but the Orton tools what really helps bring out a lot of the image and make it look real dreamy, soft, and I think just makes it look a lot really professional like. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like it. If you did, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, please take time to subscribe. Subscribe is free, it's for you. Let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.